Intel HD graphics are known to be terrible for gaming. They are usually the main graphics in cheap laptops or pre-built desktop PCs. But lately, GPUs have become pretty rare to get. Buying one is about impossible, so many of us are left with our CPUs and nothing else. The CPUs usually have, yeah, an Intel HD. So if you have nothing, is this worth even trying? Well, usually it is. I decided to test the HD 630 with 8GB of RAM in dual channel. And the results were surprising in a negative way. Dodge Rally was still maxed out from a fused GPU, so getting 9 FPS on the main menu was perfectly normal. But by lowering the settings to medium, I was able to get about 25 FPS. Lowering the settings to the lowest still didn't do anything. Until I made the game look like this. It then started to run at 60 FPS, which is still low, but acceptable for an Intel HD. Now, my terrible driving aside, I tried Tomb Raider, which took a really long time to reach the main menu and loaded for about 10 minutes. I immediately lowered the settings to the lowest and set the resolution to 800x600, but the average frame rate was still 15 FPS, which was quite disappointing. The next game using the same engine was Intimate 3, which, well, it tried. Kind of. The game just didn't run at all and kept crashing. But the next game was much easier to run. Apex Legends runs at an average of 35 FPS, which, way more than in the other games, was still not really playable due to the nature of the game. The settings, of course, went at the lowest, as well as the resolution. GTA V was quite disappointing. It does not run as it once did. With lower end hardware, the game ran much better than it does now. Without VSync, the world just does not load anymore, and at the lowest settings, the frame rate is much lower than it should be, at about 24 FPS. Once again, the settings were the lowest, and the 9500 GT still does better. Dead by the light, while Quest Atari was somewhat playable, running at 25 FPS average, the skill checks were not that easy to do, but they were doable, so I still consider the game playable, so while the game could have been smoother, it could have been worse as well. Eventually, Fortnite, at the lower settings, ran at an average of 50 FPS, which while playable, the game was pretty blurry and was hard to see, so you would perform worse. But yeah, I could have tested more games, but it's easy to see the overall performance. It does poorly in AA games, and does alright at lower ending games. So yeah, these do exist, I guess. 